Ah, the perfect situation. The autofill ADC, meaning I don't need to support his ass. All we need to do is put him on a comfortable champion and rake in the ELO. Fast forwarding through this lobby, he ends up settling on Karthus and I'm completely fine with that pick. I feel comfortable enough to share that I'm playing Ghost Smite Scion. I usually do not show it until the very last second, and this lobby is exactly why I do that. Out of absolutely nowhere, the Lee Sin, our jungler, has started offering to swap roles with me. He wants to play Lee Sin support. I keep saying no, 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 no. He says yes, 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 and then he swaps from Smite to Ignite. And I have no choice but to then also swap my smite to ignite. And we're playing this weird game of chicken. I'm assuming if I stay on ignite, he'll swap to smite last second. Is what we'd all assume, right? Well, I was bloody fucking wrong. I end up being the only jungler in the game. And of course, he's never played freaking Lee Sin support in his life. And he butchers it and we all lose ELO. So I obviously queued straight back up as we do. And you'll never guess who I bumped into. Please tell me that is the, the Lee Sin. Because I think it is 12 minutes ago. Bad luck, Lee Sin. Bad luck, Hecarim. Bad luck to you, my friend. I absolutely cannot wait to stomp this guy. I usually wouldn't try and invade with this strategy, but I want to get a very clear understanding of where Hecarim's starting so that I can punish him for the maximum. It's not necessary, it's just I feel like this guy's a bit stupid. It's likely we can get a good team fight here. Yep, that's what I thought. I'll take that just so I can punish him harder. I think there's going to be someone in this bush. Or oh, this bush. Where are ya? Oh, that was a really bad cue by me. Is he gonna die anyway? He is gonna die anyway. Classic him. Classic, classic him. I don't think he should start that side. I'm trying to avoid starting where Zin Zhao's starting. It's clear he's trying to path wherever I'm going. He thinks I'm leashing him or something? I'm not sure what he wants. I like the way this has worked out. We're both gonna get a safe start, no risk. We get to see if he goes red or blue with the wards, and then I can path according. So I'm taking one camp from my side and then I'm heading straight over to the enemy. Instead of clearing all three like the other Russian Scion does, I think that's a bit int. It forces your Xin Zhao to do stupid things. This way he's got plenty to farm still and now I start denying. The reason I want to take that camp though, A, we don't coin flip at level 1, right? There's no coin flip. We're also a higher level. Level 2 Scion can defeat pretty much anyone. Likely I'm just on a ward now, so they're going to try and stop me. They think I'm going to go for the red, but I'm going to path through and take this camp instead. He's going to waste time searching for me. Well, he's just spotted me. So they know I'm here. I just don't need to waste smite on this. Keep our smite so we can contest the red. We should be level 3 or close to. And then if they don't come for this red buff, I'll just take it. I'm trying to save my Q just in case he's on it so I can steal it. Are level 3 and he isn't on it but I'm gonna run down here because likely he'll jump the wall absolute muppet so I'm gonna take this because he already has a red buff And now, all we have to do is work with the Xin Zhao. I'm really impressed by the flash of the wall. That's a massive kill secure. I don't think he had ghosts though, so it's likely we would have had him. He's going to jump to the minion. No flash. Oh, executed at least. I tried using a potion to heal up. Yoink. Anyway, that's a huge start for us. Going to build a Sunfire. Going to build the Bami Cinder. Could go for the Sheen and Boots, but this option means we can power farm. And the game's kind of already secured, so I'm not necessarily in a position where I need to worry about doing any crazy plays and getting damage. We can consistently farm camps now and invade with these tanky stats, and he's got no option. Oh, look who I found.
Hello, level three. You know what's funny? Oh, I'm gonna use my ghost. I don't want to die to him. Happy to just muck around. Wasting their time. Wasting their time. Wasting, wasting their time. What's funny now is that I'm gonna follow him. Thresh isn't in the bot lane, which means that the Ezreal's in a nice 1v1. Now I'm just looking for the Hecarim. So he cleared all of that. Maybe I can get a gank on the bot lane. Oh, it's a big hit. He does have flash. I'm coming in to clean that up. Another point in W, so I can tank it once he's low up. If I die here, that's okay. But we didn't die. Luckily, we put an extra point in that W. I'm gonna help him clear and then go get the camp. There is a small chance. I don't like that he's pathing here because I want this as well. Quite honestly, I don't need to give him the camp. 30. What am I on? This is a very different variant to the other Scions, Teleport Scion. I would normally give it to him, but this one I'm going for Primal. So we're going to have two Primals this game. Whereas with the old iteration, we would only get to 20 stacks and then stop. Now we are trying to be a fully fledged jungler. And I do believe that's why it's a lot more consistent in terms of win rate, because you just have guarantee secure on all objectives. If you're behind, let's say the enemy team gets a full soul clear, and then it goes to Elder. By the time Elder's up, you have two Primals. Odds are you're going to come back. If it's the other way around, you have all the souls on your team, then you're going to secure every objective, right? So it's just much, much stronger. The point of this build, though, is to work with your jungle. So I'm going to give up that camp and see if we can get a, a kill onto them. We can get the Thresh. Thresh is the target. He's just going to lantern away everyone he, who um, he tries to go for. That's so annoying. We could win that, but I try and save the Zin Zhao instead. That was so free. Whatever. I'm gonna get these and then go for the blue while they're messing around the bot. Hecarim's pathing through now. He wants this. I'm trying to get it without wasting smite. Another point E. We got him. Glacial slow. Stole it. Kaiser now. Someone jumped. Gonna put our red ward down. Take this. And I want to get over to that to try and get an extra point as well. Smite it just so I can get this point. Boom. Extra two points from that bad boy just by tagging it. Now we're on 26. Our jungler's on 28. Hecarim's on 29. Both our junglers are officially beating the stacks. The race against. The race to primal. I'm gonna save my smite. We've cleared that side. Now I want to head through and take the other side. And if I pass close enough, I could even steal this gold. A very bossy move, I would say. I'm going to try and help him. Go and hit it for me. Thank you. <laughs> That's so, great. so this is gone, which means he's on the red. He's close. I'm so tanky. No one's contesting me in this jungle. He's topside. I'm gonna smite that. I do think this camp up here is gone. And it is. Let's go for the rift. Sweet as. He can have one. He can pick. I'm gonna let him pick which one he wants. If he wants the blue. I'm getting the grump. So the old version, I would definitely leash this and flick it over to him, but not anymore. It's all about us. There's an option to gank top. 
So I'm going to path into the river just in case. If he goes for this, I'm going to ult immediately. He's not going for it. Am I on a ward? I'm not on a ward. We know where the Hecarim is. He's just cleared the scuttle. He's taking Gromp. I guess the best option now for us is to wait here and then gank top. It's unfortunate. That's the cost of war right there. Hecarim's close. He's watching mid. I could wait for him there and do some damage, but top's the better choice. I'm going to get that kill no matter what. He's going to pop my ghost. I don't want to risk um, not getting it. Help him push it in. Hecarim should be pathing topside. I want that to go back to the Pantheon. So Hecarim might be right there. Oh no, he's right here. Hecarim's there. He warded over the wall. So top's in danger, but he doesn't have the upgrade. Oh no, he does have the upgrade. I'm going to hover top. No, I fucked up. Can he get away? I need to run now. I'm so tanky. Is he coming to help me? Well, at least we got something. At least we got something. Hard not worth. <laughs> Hard not worth, though. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, my Q. I guess I could have timed it a lot better, right? Boots. Let's get some armor. Ah, uh, yeah, he's on a ward. I don't... Well, they all know... They know we're here. That's the problem. But I have no problem just taking this blue from him. He has no... Oh. Oh, this is not good. I want Talon to run. Take that. He's going this way. That's fair enough. We can go and get the Drake now. Bot lane's dying. Is there any way I can help him? I need to stop the lantern. Not gonna happen. Let's take the Drake. If they overcommit bot, I'll, I'll... I don't have smite. Does he have smite? He does have smite. Let's head over to his red side. Let the Zinjiao take our side. Seven seconds. I don't know if I can kill that red quick enough. But I can take everything else and then contest the red. Is what I'll aim to do. Probably hurts more than taking the red to be honest. This will be a flip. Unless he runs. <laughs> so cool. I love how he died to the minion there. <laughs> this is the ultimate revenge, quite honestly. Thank you for my elo back. So blue side's free, let's take a look at our camps. We've got 20 on the Hecarim, 8 on the Xin Zhao, and then I've got 6. I'm officially the 
best jungler in this game, according to the jungle item. That's how this works. Keeping my smite, because I'm going to go for that rift next. Hopefully, we get the upgrade before then. Doesn't look like it, though. Two smites. He could ult over, ult over and steal it. That's fine. So we are now two away from our primal. Another perk of the double primal is the fact that we get four buffs on our team. I don't want to ult him there. He's going to die. I can maybe help him. Easy. That ult is broken. Oh, if my E hit there, I'd commit because he doesn't have the lantern. Whoops. Too much gold, too risky, and yeah. Not worth the ult. That's definitely a flip. Could it work? Yes. But could it fail? Yes. Second item, I'm going Iceborne Gauntlet. Doesn't really matter what I go for. Honestly, could do AD if I wanted to. I'm gonna go for the Wraith. I want the upgrade. Just give me the Primal, mate. Give me the fucking Primal. So I can be Speedy McSpeed. He's got seven, and the more camps we deny, the longer it's gonna take him to get that Primal as well. A yoink. One minute on the Baron, we should rush it immediately. Go Lantern. He can't go forward. <laughs> the Talon couldn't go forward to deal damage because of the Q. That was nice. They got that, I'm gonna go get the red. He's in there. He's definitely in there. Oh no, he's right here. <laughs> I completely whiffed my E. He could have walked away, probably. So we get two, and then we're gonna get another two over here. So that's two red buffs. Oh, he's going for hours, the cheeky little bastard. I want to see five buffs on our team, and it's totally possible this game. If blue, if Fizz gets the blue and Pantheon comes gets the red, oh my god! If they don't die, if they don't die, no, he's gonna die with that red. It would have been five buffs. It would have been the Holy Grail. I've been trying to get that for so long. They're dead. Ah, oh, it would have been the Holy Grail, guys. It would have been it. One day I'll get it. It'll be the ultimate screenshot. But look how cool that looks. Three red buffs. <laughs> Should be four. Oh no, it is four. We got four of them. Oh, we can still do the Holy Grail. We just need him to get the blue. I want to see it. Let me see. Oh, they don't care. They don't care about these things like I do. One, two, three, four, five. Feels bad, man. Didn't get the screenshot. Where are you going, mate? Where are you going? This is definitely the BM coming up. Gotta let that Lee Sin know. The Hecarim know. 
And that is the end of this game. If you enjoyed watching Double Smite Scion, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, helps out the channel. And yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>